DC leaders continue to search for ways to reduce crime, and their newest effort is one that's been around for a while, but they say we'll be enforcing it going forward. Starting September 1st, anyone under age 17 will have to abide by a curfew in seven VOCUS areas viewed as high crime hotspots. DC News Now's Leonard and Fleming reports. Mayor Bowser and our acting police chief are trying to get a handle on the serious crime way that's going on in the district this year because more than ever, more youth are committing serious violent crimes in the district. I believe the curfew is an excellent idea. Shakita McBroom of Southeast DC is speaking about Mayor Muriel Bowser's enforcement of a youth curfew already long on the books to curb deadly violence in the district. It builds um, structure back into the home for a lot of parents who have uh, children that's a bit challenging. DC authorities have been struggling this year to curb youth violence, and there have been among 80 shot this year alone and 12 killed, eclipsing all of 2022's total. This worries community leaders like Ernest Clover of the DC Dream Center that mentors youth in Ward 7 and 8. He supports the curfew. Its ability to be effective will be on us adults and people who are in my type of position to say, hey, how are we working together to give our youth opportunity so that when a curfew hits at 11 p.m. or 12 a.m., they're like, hey, I'm tired, I wanna go home. Those like Penelope Spain, the co-founder of the Open City Advocates, which represents youth in the juvenile justice system, don't think curfews work. I understand that people are concerned about crime. I understand the desire to feel safe in our city, but the mayor's curfew initiatives are backwards in thinking. They employed tactics from decades ago that have been proven time and again to be ineffective and counterproductive. In addition, they almost entirely land on the back of blacks and Latino youth. Yet McBroom, who has children in the district, sees crime reductions coming. It would help with a lot of carjackings. Um, it will hold, you know, people more accountable for their children and their whereabouts. And young people have also been victims of violent crime with 12 youth being killed this year alone, eclipsing all of last year's totals in 2022. Reporting from Southeast DC, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.